Hello, my name is Piros Ekonomu. I'm a packet Domain consultant for Nokia. Today, I'm going to present to you how Telia is monetizing uh, the network using the Sirius program. We are uh, providing uh, three pillars. We have the network as a code uh, over the SaaS implementation uh, that is being used uh, to provide uh, openness to the business cases and uh, provide also time to market. We have our packet core pillar which is providing local breakout use cases and uh, extreme throughput. And last but not least, we have the different use cases we're going to present today that we have the end to Ethernet over 5G fixed wireless access and up, up in class value. For implementing that, we need to understand a little bit the setup. So Teria Sirius uh, setup uh, is based on uh, Teria Sirius implementation on, on AWS in Stockholm, uh, interconnected with a network as a code setup. And we are providing three different slices, MVP slice, enterprise slice, and Ethernet over 5G fixed wireless access slice. To implement the local breakout and the implementation of the user plane, we are utilizing the latest appliances CMGA2 solution that we are offering together with AMD. We have three variants. We have the entry variant, which is 100 gigabps using the previous generation of CPUs. We have the second variant, which is the Zen 4 uh, 64 cores using 200 gigabps. And last but not least, we have the third variant, the high capacity one, which provides over the 4RU 400 gigabps using 96 cores. I'm going to demonstrate to you how the, we are providing, uh, we are utilizing Telia uh, series program in order to execute our first use case, which is CP to CPE. 5G fixed wireless access. So for that purpose, we have a, an enterprise slice created that it hosts, uh, hosts two devices. And the first device is connected over the laptop. And the second device, we are connecting a server. In this case, a, pixie, uh, a, a small pixie boot based on Raspberry Pi. We are going to utilize the 5G in order to create a virtual LAN between the two devices. And we will demonstrate how this, will, how this setup will allow the system that you see on the right uh, to boot up from over the 5G from the Pixie server. For that reason, we will create, using our provisioning portal, the service. We start with uh, defining where the service will be provided in the Arnokia ACC. We will going to define the Ethernet over fixed wireless access. We are supporting three different fixed wireless access cases. IP, Ethernet, PDQ, and uh, ELAN. So we are configuring uh, ELAN, and then we are configuring antithesis. We are configured. We have configured the first device, and now the second device. We can define if we want to have tag VLANs or non tag VLANs. And once we are ready, we are going to execute. We defined if we want bandwidth specific bandwidth details, and of course we have the optional uh, the options to provide dedicated slice and guarantee padding. Once we are ready, we will press the exit apply button and the setup will configuring from Stockholm to the Nokia ACC will provide the connectivity and the setup. We see the progress is ongoing. And then we are ready to proceed to the actual demo. Absolutely. We have the first device, which is connected directly to the laptop. The second device, which is connected is the Pixit. I'm booting the device, and as the, hard, uh, the laptop doesn't have any operating system, it will go directly uh, in the DHCP discovery mode and try to understand, try to fetch an operating system over the LAN. This process will take a few minutes, and it will, we will have a full operating system installed over the next few minutes. As you see, the system is booting, it got an IP address, believing that they are on the same LAN. However, we are connecting those two devices over the 5G network. So while we are proceeding with the installation, I will go, you can see that the system is downloading from our Raspberry Pi is the operating system. While we are proceeding with this setup, we will go to the SEPCON case, which is how we are providing a network as a code together with the Telia series. 
in the everyday environment and uh, as a use case for security results, you may want to record everything on the network. You have a, a camera that records all the time when there is an event happening, uh, you get uh, to, to see the data. As we are moving in the direction of optimization and monetization, we can save bandwidth, we can save also different services to our customers by reducing the quality of the network as the data are, are uh, not necessarily important. So we will use the network as a code. And as you see, I had the, uh, our API ID device configured. And uh, this uh, ID environment will allow execute API commands directly to network as a code. We will execute a device uh, downgrade. So we will basically uh, simulate the, set, the case that the subscribers are not uh, seeing any important data. So the moment we will uh, simulate that uh, we don't need any more this data info, you will see the screen is more or less on the frame level and nothing important is happening. As, we, as the camera may detect some information, we will execute an API command dynamically in this case, uh, it can happen dynamically, where we will upgrade the quality of the service of our solution and uh, the camera will go again back into in the uh, same uh, video capsule. As you can see on the screen, the video quality went back to normal. We saved a lot of bandwidth during the time that we didn't have to record anything now. While I was executing this demo, you can see the laptop in the previous uh, demo at the latest case is ready for operation. Moving to the next use case, which is uh, app in classifiers, we will have uh, the capability to define particular uh, targets that can be any IP address or it can be a domain that we want to local breakout. Why we want to do that? The most important is saving bandwidth and keep the local significant as well as having the low latency requirements depending on the use case we want to apply. So for this example today, we will uh, target a speed test uh, server that we have defined that we want this particular IP that is used as a test, test, uh, speed test server to local breakout. Once we define that, we are defining the device, the location, and then we select the profile we just created for the campus of. We will apply and we are ready to execute once the test, once the configuration is applied on the local uh, user client function we have on premise. Our setup is ready and we can go to the next screen, which is our local UPF speed test and the regional UPF speed test. As you can see, the difference is significant. On the local UPF, we are approaching at 600, local breakout the traffic to our local servers, while on the regional UPF, we have to go all the way back to the other UPF over the same uh, UPF we have locally defined here. And the difference you can see is tremendous. We are talking about savings on transmission, but also we are talking about local significant traffic, and we can also define the low latency that we can achieve with this setup. Those are the three use cases, and this is the way that Teria is monetizing its network with the serious programs. Thank you very much for listening. Yes, it's, bye.